Okay, <clears throat> now that we've got this center established here, I'm going to go ahead and click trim. Get rid of that little piece right there. And we've got our exterior walls established already, so we should be good there. Um, all right, so we've got walls established. Let's go back here. We're going to make this a 20 foot. Well, let's start down here. We'll go back. This is 11 foot 2 this way. So I'm going to click trim, right click, oh, right, right click, and get rid of that part right there. That way, when I offset this room here, it's 11 foot 8, 11 foot 8 inches. And we'll go back this way. And then offset that four inches there. And then, right, we'll trim that. Oops. Trim, right click, and get rid of that. And this. And then we'll offset that again, 19 foot. And go back this way. Yeah. Offset four inches. And we've now established how wide that room is right there, which is our little foyer room or something. Alright, so we'll get rid of those pieces there that we don't want. Let's go ahead and get rid of that too. Um, and it's easy enough to add that stuff back in if we need to, to do that. But for right now we're good. Alright, so now let's go up here to this side. Now this side up there is a 20 foot room but it ends right here in the middle of that countertop right there. So we're going to add that. We're going to do a couple other things right in here. Alright, so uh, one of the things we could do is we could look at some things. Let's go to the internet and we'll go to Lowe's.com. Lowe's.com and we will put in, say, a washer and dryer. Let's put in a washer. All right, let's just do a washer and we'll just figure out a standard thing here. So we can go here uh, to this, click on that. We'll just click this May tag. And we're just looking for standard sizes of things. So when we look at this. Uh, specifications we're looking at a width being 27 inches here right so you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this we're gonna assume that is 30 inches right so we're gonna offset this part right here we'll click offset and we'll say 30 inches here uh, wait a minute 30 inches so washer and dry would be 30 inches each so let's offset that 60 inches and get this wall right here and then offset four inches to get that wall so this gives us a little bit of room and it's not perfect but offset there we offset four inches and so we got that room established there um, click trim right click right there now on um, the other thing I might do I think we should probably do is this is um, go ahead and offset 12 foot there to get our kitchen in here we'll offset 12 foot here and enter oops that didn't work out offset 12 foot enter and do that right there and then we'll offset so this 12 is in there we'll offset four inches to get the other side of that little wall right here like this but that doesn't go out that far and so i might do something like offset here 24 inches because that wall isn't very big we'll go out like that all right, and then to make it simple, we're going to go ahead and click fill it, and we're going to make that, repeat that fill it there and there, and I'll click trim, right click and get that part right there. Now, the other thing we can do is we can offset, say, 24, let's offset 28 inches. No, you know what we'll do? We're going to click copy. We're going to copy that whole thing right there, copy from this base point, and we'll go down here 28 inches. All right, we've got that one in place. So we'll click trim, right click, and get that part out right there. Okay. So now, let's look at this. Uh, we're going to look at the distance. So let's type DI and enter distance and go from there to here and in the X direction. So that's actually just under 20 foot, or so 1 inch short. So that works out just about okay. So we'll be okay with that. Okay. So we've got all of our walls in place that we want to have in place essentially. Oh, so let's, except for right in here and right in here. So let's do this. We'll click offset and we'll say 24 inches. And we're going to put a 24 inch wall here. And I'm going to do the same right there. Offset, right click, enter, and we'll offset this wall 24 inches there. Right, and then we'll go 4 inch wall here. Oops, 4 inch wall here. So we add that and we add this. Okay, so now I'm going to click trim that and this. And then we'll go down here. 
this one and this one. Okay, so then we'll offset 60 inches this way, that way, uh, and that gets room for our tub, which then in turn offset this one four inches this way. And what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and click extend, and we're going to use that right there as our cutting edge and go to here, our, our extension to there. And I'm going to erase that. I'm going to click trim and use that as my cutting edge and get rid of this and this. And I'm going to go ahead and add this back down in here for right now. All right. So then what we'll do is we'll offset 30 inches because this is where the tub will be. And then we're also going to then offset six more inches offset and we're just trying to find some space here to work with so we'll offset six inches and I'm going to then extend to there oops let's just do the click extend right click extend that to there and now I can trim using this as a cutting edge get rid of that and oh, offset four inches. So I made a little bit of a mistake there, but it ain't gonna be too bad. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. As a matter of fact, it's not going to be a mistake at all because I needed to be able to extend this part right here. Right click that one to there. And now we can trim, right click and get rid of that and this and that. So now we've got where our bathtub's gonna be there. Uh, six inch walls here. Uh, we're good there. Bathtub, so we've got space for that closet here, bathtub here, bathtub there. Um, so we're ready to, to move forward with this. I believe that this is all of our walls. All right. That being said, let's look at our rubric here. So next we're going to talk about putting in windows, right? Do we want to get windows in there? Let's let's go ahead and do windows next. So we'll go up here to view and go to tool palettes and we'll come right down in here. We're going to pick a window uh, to, to do this. And when we pick a window, we're going to drag, click it and drag a window in place. Oops. Click. Oh, there it is. And you don't drag. Um, so I'm going to put a window in place. Now this can get a little bit tricky. So I'm going to put that right there for right now. So let's go ahead and figure some things out. We're going to grab that and I'm going to go down here to the perpendicular and put it in place right there. I don't like the way that did that. So I'm going to go back here to rotate. I'm going to rotate this thing right here. I'll rotate this around that point 180 degrees. Now it's a parametric window so I can click on this and I can drag this this out to six inches so I got my six inch window let's say we had a three foot window here it's three foot and it's going to be centered in, in that part right there so um, I can just kind of eyeball it if I want I'll move this and I'll, for right now I'm just going to eyeball it and go it goes right there in the center of that one um, to make this really easy I'm going to do this uh, I'm going to click copy I'm going to copy that window from there to there uh, I'm also then going to do this is I'm going to uh, mirror this so when I do whoops is mirror there where's mirror right there we'll mirror this one and this one we'll do it according to that midpoint right there so it puts those up on the other side so we're good there now we're going to talk about this part right here so we're going to uh, copy this whoops let's copy this window from that endpoint right there to this endpoint right here. And um, I might even move that a little bit. So I'm going to click move and move that down here. And then I'll copy that again. Um, and I'm going to copy that to right here. All right. So I got three foot windows here. So now I'll copy that and I'm going to copy it from here, here to here to here. So I got three windows in place there. Um, I might do something very similar back here on the back. So I'm going to do a mirror of these and I'll go from this midpoint to that midpoint there. Do I want to delete those? No. Um, what I am going to do is I am going to delete one of these here and move this down a little bit farther here into the middle of that family room. And I'm going to move this one bat down here closer to where my sink's going to end up being somewhere right in there and I'll move that one again later 
The other thing, uh, the only other windows we have left on this house are, there's none on this end. There are doors there, but there's a window right over here. So, so I'm going to click copy, move this right here. Uh, I might move it to right there. And then I'll rotate that window around this way. I'll go down there. All right, so I'm going to put this, I'm going to move this to the center right here. And then I'll copy that. And I'm going to move that one to the center of that room and the center of this room, too. That might not be exactly what would happen in the house. It's the drawing here doesn't have them centered. Um, I just, right now, for what we're doing, that's good. you got windows in place. So all of my windows are now in place. Uh, so we should be good there. Um, now let's start talking about what comes next after we've got windows in place. Let's go down here and let's start talking about doors. Let's start with the exterior doors first. So when we go here, there's going to be a door right there and a door right in here somewhere. So And we can move them later if we have to. So we'll just click on a door. Imperial door. Is that what we want to know? We want this door right here. So we'll come in here and we're going to put a door in right about right here. And I'll click rotate, and I'm going to rotate that whole door 180. All right, so that's an exterior door that I want to be three foot. I can make a three foot four if we wanted. That would be really nice to have a nice big door to get in and out of the house. Um, what I want to do is probably something along the lines of this. I want to draw a line that goes from this midpoint straight down here. And I want to move this and this from there to the midpoint of that line so now that door should be centered on there all right so that's centered when I click trim I'll trim use that and this is my cutting edges and I'll get rid of this and this so now that door centered on there and I might do the same thing up here I'm gonna click on that put a door up here all right um, where this is located I might do something like like this uh, where I go um, might move this down here like this move this to that end point and then move it up four inches so it gives me four inches there so now I got that in where it belongs and now I can click trim and use that and that is cutting edges get rid of that and that okay so now I've got those two doors in place um, so let's start thinking about other doors let's go back up into this area right up in here Right, I'm going to put a door in, and this door going into a bathroom does not need to be huge. So I'm going to put this one right, I'll put this right here for now. Right, And I'm going to click on this to change it, because I want that to go into a four foot thing. I'm going to change it this way, and I also want to change it so it goes the other way. I want it to open inward. And I might then move this from here to there, and then I'll move it again, move that previous and I'll move it from that is my base point and come out two inches there oops I went the wrong way so I'm gonna move it move this is my base point go this way two inches alright and I don't want a big wide door for a bathroom I'm good with probably a two foot six door could even get away with a two foot door we'll go two foot six and click trim Use that as my cutting edge, and that as my cutting edge, and get rid of that and that. Okay, so that's that door. Now, um, when we go into this closet right here, there's a couple things we could do. We could, and probably would, do something very similar where we will we'll copy that door right there. Let's copy this door down to about right here. All right, and I'm going to do the same where I draw a line that goes this way and that's the should be the midpoint of my door so now when I click move I want to move both of those things from there to the midpoint of that line and then I'll erase that line and then use trim and cut this and this all right so my door opens inward uh, let's go ahead and just make the shelf in there offset uh, let's see what it's about 16 inches Offset that 16 there and there, so we should be good. All right, so we'll call that quits for now until the to make the next video.